Wooger is a Berlin-based games company. We work on story-driven casual games. Our current biggest titles are June's Journey, Pell's Peril and Tropicats. It's really important to us that we're creating deep, rich narrative and story within our games. Our games are more like a TV show, so we have cliffhangers in the end, so every week we produce content, so the players constantly waiting, oh, what will come next? So really when we're creating this content, it all starts with the story. It's a big part of what our players love. So there's not much companies who are able to have a team of writers and to also produce all the content we offer for our players. In Dutch Journey, we decided not to have this handmaiden style, but to create high quality 3D models. And that helps us to make more cohesive set with the same light, with the same materials and colors. That's why the like, model fits perfectly for us. Our concept artist from uh, June's Journey established it as a tool and he liked it so much, so it basically became our main tool we use in the company. I tried a lot of softwares, but Moda is more friendly for artists. It has very friendly UI and it's easy to model there. I don't sketch a thing, I model it in 3D and with Modo it's faster than sketching for me. I feel like a sculptor in Moda, that's why I like all these polygon modeling tools. And also I like procedural materials because I can be extremely creative to have plenty of layers without thinking about technical stuff. At Vuga we offer specific Modo training for 2D artists. 2D artists mostly complain about 3D, but with Modo uh, most of them are creating pretty amazing stuff within a couple of lessons. The main challenge with creating isometric art is that we want to convey a nice artistic style and realism, but from a fixed camera perspective. Our basic pipeline is that we start with a 2D concept that was handed over to the 3D artist, which creates the asset in Modo. And in the end, we do the render, where we use a custom script that is sending the render passes to Photoshop, who's doing all the post-processing for us. And then we can use the final asset in the game. Our players are the lifeblood of the game. With each day that passes, we get more and more passionate fans. When we deliver the content to our players, I think most people realize that there's something special about the game and how things are created. It's very exciting to get this energy back from the players, but at the same time it's also a bit daunting because you don't want to disappoint them. When you, when you create new assets, you do want to keep that high bar of quality. Sometimes we really get letters back from players who have a deep emotional contact to the game and that's what we try to keep in our minds constantly and treat it with real meaning. I was a trained 2D artist coming to 3D and Modo really made this step easy for me. From no idea 2D artist in 20 days come to a producing 3D artist and it's this passion for Modo that never left me.